Hi everybody, this is Virginia Milner coming to you from the DeKalb County Library System. And we have another wonderful project today. We're going to be making a nice, easy coconut bead um, bracelet. I wanted to do something that was more kind of guy, um, so kind of for guys, but really nice for, for, for ladies too. So that's what we're going to do today. We have some beautiful coconut um, rounds that we're going to be using and wrapping. That's going to be our focal piece. And then we have some more coconut um, donut shaped round or, or um, discs that we're going to match up with that. And then we're gonna finish it off with some pine wood beads as links. Now, the things that you'll need are round nose flyers, square nose flyers and cutters, 24 gauge wire, jump rings, and um, a lobster clasp. We're also going to be using these, um, I showed you that one. We're gonna be using these coconut um, uh, rounds, not rounds, coconut discs. What I love about natural things is that they're not perfect. You can see this one has a little chunk out at the side, <laughs> but it's still so, so pretty. So I, can't, uh, so I can't wait to use that. We're also using these little, these little um, wooden discs, they're pine wood. So we're using the little wooden discs to, um, uh, to connect the links. That's it, that's really all we need today. So we're gonna get started. Let's get down here to the other camera and get going. Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm going to need, you can see that I've wrapped one side of my um, large coconut focal bead. And what I need for that is about, it depends on how many wraps you wanna do. And I've used um, eight, eight inches of 24 gauge wire. You can see, here's what the others look like. It's going to be the same wrap, just smaller beads. So what I'm going to do is thread my wire onto my bead. I'm going to go about a third of the way up my bead. And then I'm going to wrap the long side around my bead. Once. Got one good wrap there. I want to keep it nice and snug. Give me a second wrap really close to the other one. Wrap it again. And I'm going to wrap several times because I want it to have a nice, a nice look. Push this down a little bit more so you can see better. And I want those nice and close together like that. Keep on wrapping. Let's give it a couple of more, a couple more. And I want to make sure that my wraps are side by side, not on top of each other. Just nice and close together, but yeah, nice. So one or two more. So it matches up with my other side. Yes, very nice. Scrunch those together. See what I've got over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm going to give it one more wrap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, one more. One more little wrap. Nice and snug. There we go. And then I'm going to bring these two wires, cross them over each other. Now, I don't want the wires to 
X over the wraps. So what I'm going to do is hold on to the front and back of my wraps, and I'm going to bend this wire over the top, and the same with the other one until they're crossed. And then I'm going to give it a couple of twists so that they're nice and in place. And then I'm going to keep twisting until I have a good inch to an inch and a half of twisted wire. And now we want to do what is called an, elect an electrician's twist, meaning I don't want to wrap one wire around the other. I want to actually twist them. And the best way to do that is to separate the wires, keep them nice and wide, and turn each wire at the same time. until I have a nice twist. That's a good inch. Let's give it a few more. Just a couple more twists. There we go. And now I'm going to make my loop, just like on the other side. So I'm going to bend it off to the side a little bit, like so. And just this loop you can do with your fingers. You don't need pliers for that. You can use your pliers if you would like. But um, this wire is very, very malleable. So you really don't have to use pliers unless you just want to. Okay, just shape it until it's about the same size as my other loop that I've already made. Then I'm going to go in here with my round pliers and kind of round this out a little bit. There we go. A tiny bit smaller to match the other one. And there's my loop. So now I just want to wrap it up. So I'm going to wrap the tail of this just between my loop and the top of my bead until I have a wrap like this. Let's wrap that around. And there it is. Now I can link this and you can scoot this over if you need to until they match up. And once I get the wrap the way I want it, I can go ahead and clip off the end. with my clippers. Okay, let's just take that off as close as I can get to my wraps. And then press this little end down. You don't want anything sticking up, so I'm gonna press it down under all of my little wraps that I have here. Nice, neat, and tidy. There we go. So there it is. It's all ready to take on my other beads. So let's, yeah. So let's wrap our other one. It's going to be the same premise, the same way that we did this one, except that we're not going to be twisting our loop for this. So for that, I need, oh, see how much, did I cut that off? Oh, I cut off about two inches. So that gives you an idea of how much you need. Okay, so for these, I'm going to use um, about five inches. Five inches of 24 gauge wire. Same thing I did on the other one, thread it through about, you can do it a couple of ways. You can either do it halfway and then wrap one side and then the other side. I like to kind of wrap one side as much as I can. So I just take it about a little more than half.
halfway through, maybe about a third of the way through this side's um, two, two thirds longer than the other, just not something on the floor. And then I will wrap it around just like I did the other one. So I'm gonna wrap it around the back, put it back through the loop. And I want this to be side by side. I don't want it overlapping. So there's one wrap. And the second wrap, and that'll give me three strands right here, which is what I want. So I want three lengths of three lengths of wire showing here, front and back. Pull it up nice and snug. And just know that this is still going to move no matter what you do, just because of the way the disc is made. So don't worry about that. They do move around a little bit. All right. So how many wraps do I have here? Three, one, two, three, four, one more. One more little wrap so I can match up with the other one. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to cross them over like I did before. I'll see how that wanted to go over there. It's going to go over a little bit, but I don't want it to go over too much. So I want to hold on to my wraps so that the tail won't cross over too much. Again, I'm going to do an electrician's twist. This time, I'm just going to do it two times. Bring my wires together. Bend it over to the side and make my loop. Now for this one, because it's really small, I'm going to go ahead and use my pliers. So I'm going to go down about a third of the way on my round nose pliers. Bring those two wires over the top of my bead or over the top of my pliers. So I have a loop. There we go. And then I'm going to wrap the tail under the loop and over on top of the bead several times till I have a nice closed loop. Nicely wrapped. Here we go. Then I'm gonna clip off that end. Now, one of the tricks that I've learned is before you clip, rep, kind of curve your wire because it's easier to push it under and if you have a straight edge of, edge of wire here and you're trying to push it against the rest of the loops, just kind of curve it under a little bit. Then grab your clippers. And cut off the ends. I don't want that flying all over the place. So I turn it down or you can put it down in the top of something so that the ends go down inside of there. You don't want to point it towards your face or point it to the across the room. Otherwise, your wire is going to end up flying across the room. So now I want to just take these little ends that are here and push them down. so that they don't stick up and scratch. Don't want anything scratchy. There we go. Okay, there's one side all wrapped up. Let's get to the other side. And do the same thing. Neat, huh? All right, let's grab my other piece of wire here, slide it in the little donut hole. It's a little tiny donut hole. It's not really a donut. About two thirds of the way. And 
Let's start my little wrap. So before I wrap the first time, I already have one strand and I want four strands. So that means three wraps. So that's get in there. There we go. That's one. Okay. I'm sticking it in the back there. Sort of like when you put on a, sew on a button. That's two. Nice and tight and close together. There we go. Now I'm gonna do the other one from the other side because this one has gotten longer. How did my camera get all the way over there? That's weird. This one's a little bit longer. So I'm gonna to go to the other side for my third wrap. And because that's in the back here, I'm gonna to have to take that from the back and thread through the front. And pull it nice and tight. Scooch them together. There we go. Yes, nice. Okay, let me cross my wires over again, holding on to my, my threads. Give it a couple of turns. Bring my wires together. Bend it off to the side, grab my round nose pliers, and let's make a loop. There we go. Does it look about the same size as the other one? Yes, it does. Let's wrap that loop up between the pliers and the bead. Nice and neat. Actually, it's not nice and neat. It's nice and artistic and <laughs> Kind of a messy wrap, as we like to call it. I'm going to give this a little curve. Just curve it around a little bit. Snip off those ends. Really close to the bead, nice and close. And Push those edges down. Okay, very good. There. Let's take a look at what I have here. Straighten up my loops a little bit. And we are ready to put those together. Neat. Isn't that neat? That's going to be so great. Yay. All right. So now we're going to add one little, one little um, link to it. Or I am because that's big enough for my arm. You might need more links than this. So you've got those of you who get kits will have several of these. You will have about <clears throat> excuse me, 20 of these little discs so that you can make it as long as you need. So let's get that wrapped up. For that, we only need about three inches. And I chose to use, I have these white discs. I, I started to use those because there's a little ivory in here. And I thought that would work, but I also like the brown and the black combination. I think that comes together very nicely. So that's what I'm using. So I'm going to give myself a couple of inches. I need a couple of inches on each side in order 
to do a nice wrap for this because it's um, they, these have large holes and I wanna make sure that I wrap it up um, nice and close. So I'm gonna give myself about two inches on each side because by the time I, I um, put these beads on, that's about half an inch. So give myself a good two to two and a half inches on each side, or I mean two inches on each side. And that should, so give yourself about four inches just to be, um, just to give yourself enough wire. So I'm gonna bend my wire back, my round nose pliers, bring my wire over the top of the pliers and down the side until it's going down the side with the long wire. Then without moving my wire, I'm going to open my pliers up, rotate back, clamp back down, and I'm going to bring that wire over and slightly up because we're going to make a double loop. So now I'm going to take the, the wire out, flip it around, and grab my loop from the other side because I want to make another loop and I want it the same size as this loop. I wouldn't make it on the side going towards the end of my pliers because that's getting smaller. So I wanna make sure that I put it on the other side, right in the same spot that I did my first loop. So now I'm gonna bring that all the way around, rotate, and bring it all the way around until it's out to the side here. So now you can see I have a double loop. And I'm going to wrap that tail around. Uh-oh. It's currently 822. Sorry. <laughs> That's my alarm telling me you need to finish. You need to get this finished in a half an hour. So, and because I promised that I was going to try not to bore you with extra long classes this year. That's what I'm trying to do. All right. So I've got my loop. I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to go ahead and place my pliers as close to the beginning of the where I'm wrapping as possible so that it doesn't pull, the wire doesn't pull in between uh, my, uh, over my loop. I want to just wrap around the stem one time. Now I'm going to put my beads on because again, I wanna make sure that I have a big enough wrap to accommodate the hole that's in the middle of my disc because it's a pretty big hole. So now before I wrap this, in order to hold these in place, I don't want them bouncing around. So I'm going to bend my wire back so I can start my wrap, okay? Grab my round nose pliers and slide my pliers down, my wire down about oh a third of the way down my pliers and wrap around my pliers one time. And we're going to do it again like we did on the other side, except that we're going to flip my pliers around just like we did before. My pliers, one goes through the loop, the other goes under the other wire. And wrap that se second loop around behind the first loop just like we did before. I'm explaining it because I know it's harder to see when I have beads on here. Okay. And now we can wrap. So now I can wrap the tail around between my loop and my beads several times. Good. Now I have a nice cap on top of my beads. My loop is my uh, the drilled part of my bead is nicely covered with wire. 
a nice cap and I can trim off the excess. Okay. Push down that extra end. And go back to the other side and let's wrap this side. Which way? Yes. Slide my pliers in and continue my wrap. Wrapping between the pliers and the bead. And I know it's hard for you to see that. That's why I'm explaining it as I wrap. Okay. Trying to get grab this little end here so I can curve it under because I've got that straight edge that's going to be hard to tuck under if I don't curve it. So let's curve that under and push down the end. Here we go. Nice. All right, so here is what we have. Neat, isn't that neat? That's gonna be great. So now it's time to put everything together. And we're gonna do that with jump rings. So the proper way to open a jump ring, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can use your fingers and just twist. You can use one pair of pliers on one side of the opening and then push down with your thumb to get a nice open jump ring. Or you can take one pair of pliers, find the opening, where's the opening? Where are you? There it is. Put one pair on one side, the other pair on the other side, and twist. And I have a nice open jump ring, What you never ever want to do is take your pliers and put them inside your jump ring and open it that way, because that will ruin the curve of your jump ring. We don't want to do that. All right, so I'm going to take one jump ring and I'm going to slide one of uh, my beads on and I'm going to attach that to one of my side discs, my small discs, and twist it back closed. I want to make sure that those ends are flush together. You don't want anything open on this because you don't want your jump rings to come open. So there's one. I'm going to add a second one because I like the look and it gives me a little extra security in regard to holding my bracelet together. I just like that. So again, I slide it in one loop and then back through the other loop, making sure that I don't tangle the other jump ring up in it. And then I close it. There we go. So there's one link. Now let's go on to the center. Actually, this is go to the other side. So I'm going to run my jump ring through the loop, add my disc, and close. There we go. Same with the other one. Just 
through one loop and then back through the other loop. Making sure that they don't get tangled, the uh, two jump rings. And close. Nice. And now we're ready to attach to our center. Grab another jump ring. Slide it through the small disc loop. Add my large disc loop. Disc loop. Now, I have a front and back on this. Decide which one you want to be the front and which one you want to be your back. Because what you're going to do, um, these are my backs. I want to put the backs of my discs together so that when I close it up, it lays out with both of my fronts on the same side. I'll say that again. Grab a jump ring. Slide it through the front of my small V, my small disc, and then back from the back of my other V, my large V. The backs are together, they're resting together, so that when I close up my jump ring, the two um, fronts are on the same side. Let's do that again. Grab a jump ring. I'm going through the front of my large bead and through the back of my small bead. So the backs are together. Close my jump ring. There we go. Same with the other side. Through the front and back from the back and close. Ah, oh, look at that. Isn't that neat? That is fantastic. So last but not least, you again can make as many of these links as you need to make it match up your, the size of your wrist. What I'm going to do now is make a loop for one side and we're gonna have a lobster clasp for the other side. So let's see here how much I actually need in order to make this work. Uh, about an inch, so that's going to be perfect for me. But again, you can add as many of these small discs as you want to extend your bracelet. So what I'm gonna do is put on my lobster clasp and then check my length again. To see what I need to do on the other side as far as a loop. Yes, I'm going to make my little loop and I'm going to use two of these beads to do it. And I decided to go with the ivory color with the brown instead of the black and brown. I could have stuck with the black and brown, but I wanted something a little bit different. So what I'm gonna need for that is about five inches of wire. Let's measure that over here. And it's going to be very simple. I'm going to make a loop. So I'm going to give myself about two inches of wire back here. Bend my wire back. And I'm gonna bring, make a loop just like I did uh, with, the, with this loop. It's the same thing, except that I'm gonna be making a big loop on the other side. Rotate back, bring my wire under and up. Then I'm gonna switch, turn my wire around, 
slide my wire back on my pliers and bring that tail up and over to the other side of my pliers, just like I did before. So I have a double loop. And now I'm going to wrap it around the tail of my wire. One time, put my beads on. Just because I want a nice um, decorative loop. Okay, bend my wire back. Now for this loop, I want it to be large because I want it to accommodate my lobster clasp. So I'm gonna make a nice big loop, just like I did on this disc. So make a nice big loop here. And then I'm going to make a second loop. Get all the way to the back of my pliers for that. Oops, got kind of flipped around. All the way to the back of my pliers. Make a second loop. I hear you. <laughs> morning, morning, Will, Will Robinson. Okay, I've got a second big loop here. And I'm going to wrap. Several times. I have a nice big cap on my bead. There we go. Clip off that end. Okay, here we go. And let's wrap the other side. Again, between my pliers and my beads. Okay, put a little curve in here. And push that wire nice and close. Very good. Now I'm ready to attach it to the end. Let's grab a jump ring, open it up, slide that on my bead. And on my loop and close. Same thing on the other side. Well, let's do the double, just like we did. Same thing as we did before, through one set of loops and back through the other set of loops, making sure it doesn't get tangled in my first jump ring. And close. And there, ladies and gentlemen, make sure it fits. Yes, it does. I have a bracelet. No, oh, I'm gonna have to hold it to myself in order to fasten it.
And again, you can use as many of those discs as you need to extend it to the size that you need. There it is. Isn't that awesome? And it's so easy. Ta-da! <laughs> I haven't said ta-da in a while. It was overdue. Isn't that neat? I love it. I'm wearing this to work today. What time is it? Oh, I've got to get out of here pretty soon. <laughs> That's why I had my alarm on. See, I ought to do this more often so that I don't bore you forever when I have lots of time. <sighs> ah, nice. We are finishing out Black History Month with a bang. I love it. I hope guys will like this. I hope ladies will like this. I personally think everybody will like this. So, <laughs> Ah, there it is. Oh my gosh, I love this. I really, really do. This will go with anything and everything. That's it. That's our piece for the day. And that closes out Black History Month and Valentine's Day and all of the other good things that we've had going on this month. So let's just say so long. And I hope you have a great west rest of your week, a great weekend, and until next time, see you later. Oh, also want to make sure that you all know that these classes are free. These videos are free. You should be able to pick them up on the Facebook page by going to Jewelry with Jen in the search engine. Okay, I'm stopping. Put Jewelry with Jen in the search engine, and that will take you to all of my um, videos. You can pick that up on the Facebook page or on the DeKalb County Library page. Facebook page, if you can get there easily by going facebook.com slash DeKalb Library, spelled D-E-K-A-L-B Library. That will take you to the <clears throat> Facebook page. You can click on the website link, put um, jewelry with Jen in the search engine and all of my videos will come up for the last however long we've been doing this through COVID, which is about three years. So if you have any questions or would like to um, get some clarification on anything, please feel free to drop me a line at jewelryjen20 at gmail.com. That's J-E-W-E-L-R-Y-2-0. Nope, J-E-W-E-L-R-Y-G-I-N-2-0 at gmail.com. That's J-E-W-E-L-R-Y-G-I-N-2-0 at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you. I would love to see what you do too. So please post anything that you make on the Facebook page because we would love to see it. Signing off. Have a great, great rest of your week. Have a great weekend, and we will see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>